New tonight, an American Islamic Relations Group told only Eyewitness News it has information that shows a pattern of harassment by the FBI towards the friends of a man who was shot and killed by an agent in Orlando. The group Care Florida claims agents have continually intimidated friends of Ibrahim Todeshev. Eyewitness News attends. Ryan Hughes found out the group plans to release what they have as early as tomorrow. The group's director told me he'll release the information tomorrow. He insists it'll show that the FBI keeps harassing friends of Ibrahim Todeshev, who was shot and killed in the apartment complex behind me. Months after an FBI agent shot and killed this Chechen man inside an Orlando apartment, CARE Florida claims agents won't stop bothering his friends. There's been a pattern in practice right now of the FBI intimidating and, and bringing pretextual charges uh, and harassing uh, many, many individuals. Uh, who are associated uh, with uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim Todeshev was killed as he was questioned over his possible role in a Boston area murder allegedly involving bombing suspect Tamerlan Sarniev. FBI agents say he lunged at them with a knife. Only eyewitness news learned agents from the Boston FBI office were again in Central Florida just last week. This time they grilled this man over his friendship with Todeshev. They basically taken retaliatory action against individuals uh, who are familiar or associated with Ibrahim Todeshev, who are key witnesses into what happened in the days before he was killed. Usher Mormed Miraliev spent at least eight hours undergoing FBI questioning. He remains locked up in the Osceola County Jail on an unrelated witness tampering charge. Tonight, Eyewitness News also spoke to Todeshev's former girlfriend off camera, who said she was just released from jail after spending roughly three months locked up on immigration issues, including five days in solitary confinement. The case this is under review by the FBI, the Department of Justice, and State Attorney Jeff Ashton's office. His investigation is ongoing. The FBI declined to comment for this story. Reporting in Orlando, Ryan Hughes, Eyewitness News at 10.